I knew a few of the girls beforehand. Um, I didn't know all of them, of course, and I knew girls at other houses as well, but there was just something that drew me to Chi Omega. In sororities, um, you tend to become a family. You form a sisterhood and you become friends uh, with these girls. I think more so than other sororities, we were a little bit different. Um, the girls had their own um, desires and wishes and they weren't all the same. So we were definitely not a cookie cutter kind of organization. Lisa was so honored to be a student at Florida State University and just so happy to be there. She taught me how to do a line dance. <laughs> she had the hardest time teaching me how to do this line dance. Now, I had had years of ballroom dance training. I had, uh, at that point, I think 18 years of ballet training, but I could not get this line dance down. And she was so patient with me. But through the course of her teaching and instructing me, we would just crack up laughing. We had gone to bed. I don't recall what it was that stirred me. I just, uh, for whatever reason, went immediately to Lisa's room and opened the door and went in. There, she was, you know, she was covered in blood. She was absolutely covered in blood. And she was moaning. Um, uh, and I, you know, reached out to her and she was touching uh, her mouth. And to this day, I, you know, I have that memory of her. Four young women were beaten with a club and two of them were strangled to death last night by a man who found his victim sleeping in this sorority house on the Tallahassee campus of Florida State University. A man was seen leaving the house with a club. Um, I still have the image in my mind and I still, you know, care for her deeply and I just wish I could have done something. The killer came in from the night and then returned to it with an ease that has so far baffled police and left most co-eds here terrified. He clubbed and then strangled to death 20-year-old Lisa Levy and 21-year-old Margaret Bowman. At least one of them was raped. Then he brutally beat three more sleeping co-eds, Karen Chandler and Kathy Kleiner. Cheryl Ann Thomas was severely beaten in her apartment six blocks away. Well, I think there was this thought that as long as you didn't do harm to another or put yourself in a bad situation that you could not be harmed. And in fact, these were totally innocent women that were, you know, unjustly attacked and two lives were taken. I, I always took my newspaper on my morning break. And when I was reading the paper, I saw this photograph of a young woman peering out from behind a, a curtain at the Chi Omega sorority house in Florida. And I had this really bad feeling that it might be the work of Ted. The front door of the Chi Omega house was not only locked today, a policeman stood guard on the other side. We 